quite low in this division. Now, it's never an easy job to take out anyone, Ben, in the North American Star League, but uh, I mean, you know, Hansi, he already played against Oz, he already played against Puma, he even managed to beat Puma, and now he's going to play against Ion. So after this, I do think he still has a match against Carlo, against Cloud, and so at least um, either of those two is going to win. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, their records look a little bit less sad. It's hard to put it any different, but it's still possible for TLO to at least stay in the North American Star League. And if he beats Ion, almost anything is still possible. Imagine if he wins four. Last season, TLO started off rough as well, and then suddenly towards the end of the season, he started to win a lot more series. If he were to win out, that would uh, maybe even qualify him for a wild card spot. So yeah. that is also something else to consider. ZVZ, a very volatile matchup. If uh, if ever there was uh, a time, where, like, f like for me, when you talk about the best players in the world, uh, if, if I was going to say, all right, I have to try to snipe off a top five international player. I'm going to I'm going to aim for a Zerg player because I do think the volatility of the mirror match means that uh, a less skilled player or even like uh, just an underdog has a better chance of winning against uh, some of these big big names like uh, like what Hyun's becoming. That is true. That is true. Tilo is going to open up hatch first over here. Tilo of course playing on the account of Bumblebee, his manager. Uh, now, once more, guys, we had two makeup games in the start of the day. So those were games from the previous weeks. This is a game that was supposed to be played on uh, on this division play day, Yon against TLO. Uh, talking about that, man, today we also announced our new league commissioner. So big shout out to Ken Silva, who is going to join the NASL team crew slash family slash Ohana. And uh, hopefully from now on, Ben, everything is going to run smoother. We're going to have less walkovers, less games being postponed and more starters to action. And of course, we uh, nobody is more aware of the, the pain and the difficulties of having walkovers on an almost daily basis here at the NASL. Uh, we had to say goodbye to our old league commissioner, but uh, we welcome in Ken today with, with open arms. We hold him close to our bosom, and we will embrace him tightly uh, because uh, if, he, if he does not do a good job, we'll just choke him out, man, <laughs> kick him to the curb. So, Ben, ZBZ and Tomb Valley on these positions, what do you think we are going to see? Uh, I think ZVZ is reaching a point of relative stability. Uh, almost every game is fast expand into uh, usually defensive banelings. Sometimes we see some cool stuff like what Targa likes to Targa do. Targa is like the only player in the world who's like, uh, uh no defensive banelings for me. That just makes a ton of links and goes for that beautiful arc yeah. of banelings morphing and then r uh, wiggling in the mid. And from there, the common follow-ups are Roach, Hydra, and Fester, or maybe sometimes we'll see some muta plays. Uh, I kind of think it's going to be the, the, the former. Some uh, I think it's a high likelihood that we see some Roach stuff. But Korean Zergs in particular really like to go Muta. So we might see that out of Hyun. And we might see that out of TLO as he has been living and training in Korea, basically yep. absorbing that metagame. He on that much quicker gas though, Ben, as we can already see. I guess is for him on the way. He's going to morph in his bailing nest now as well. well. TLO on the other end is still gasless. Dario, I hope you know Man, what you're doing. This is so cool to see. Uh, kind of an old school way to play. This is still how I play ZVZ sometimes. Uh, where you delay the gases, you get queens out. We see he's making his second and third queens now. Might even see him go up to six queens. Uh, and you just rely on static defenses. Queens, spine crawlers, good positioning to defend against just about everything. Now, it is very punishable. By delaying your speed, you can't stop the other guy from taking a fast third base. Uh, and because you delay your gas so much, your, your tech is often a little bit slower. But it comes at the trade-off of an excellent economy. We can already see TLO is drastically outmining him. Yep, he's up eight workers. Well, he was up eight workers. He's up only three works right now. I'm still a little bit worried, Ben, about the potential pressure that Hyun can put on TLO. Um, ah, this is... He's gonna, he's gonna need a good wall off either way, no? Uh, yes, but um, I, I'm, I'm just waiting and expecting to see TLO like sacrifice something for a really good scout of his opponent. And if he, like, he does have this Overlord right here at the edge of the natural. He can see there's a gas building there in that natural. That's that's an important detail. It says, all right, well, my opponent is uh, is is probably like moving forward in his tech. He's probably not trying to end the game right now. Actually, uh, Hyun is not going to be aggressive at all. He's been droning up pretty hard behind this. Now he's even going to fake some aggression, man. going to uh, bring these banelings across the map, which is probably going to force out quite a few roaches out of uh, from TLO immediately, as he did see those banelings pass. And well, actually, now Hyun is just retreating them. But still, seven roaches in production. Yep, he does bait out seven roaches. That's great for Hyun. It allows him to go up into a bit, little bit of a working league. We can see TLO is starting to establish his gas income. He's gone up to four gases. 
Uh, he's going to have... Wow, he's making nine roaches. He might even uh, attack I think TLO is just going to attack, and I don't think that's a terrible idea either, as he is uh, going up to layer pretty quick. We can see that his layer attack is around 30, 40 seconds quicker than the one of TLO. Uh, he might just try to skip out on all the roaches, despite having a roach warn. He might uh, go... Yeah. yeah, I guess not. But he's it also upgrading plus one for the roaches. Now, if TLO attacks here, and he is starting to move out, like, the, the real danger is that he's still attacking into speed links. He still doesn't really have any upgrades. So, yeah, roaches are good against links. Uh, Hian is really going to need some units real quick. When Ben, he's not making an overload. Hian is going to be supply blocked on, like, uh, the worst moment ever. Wow, that well. could be a game-ending mistake, as TLO is going to come forward here with these roaches. Uh, Hyun frantically trying to get something going. Immediately going. cancels his uh, turret base ban, but perhaps, yeah, I guess uh, they're keeping it up wouldn't have mattered. Are you CLO kidding me right now? This is going to do huge amounts of damage. A ton of uh, drones are going to go down, absolutely. Hyun's doing a very smart thing by preserving this spine crawl, and he's actually going to defend with banelings against roaches. That's not something often I mean, he needs see. something because he was supply blocked, so how else is he going to get units out? Tilo right now walking over here. Imagine if this hatch was still morphing ban, then he could have taken quite some damage and then cancel it. Yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen TLO leave a single roach behind. Oh, and that's what he does. Uh, nicely done there, TLO, because that'll allow you to at least confirm when that hatch goes down. He's oh. going to see it, knows exactly what he's playing against. TLO didn't deal the amount of damage there that I thought he might have been able to the moment I saw that Young was supply block. Don't you feel the same way? Uh, I don't know, man. If he, if he overcommits and he ends up losing those units, then it's, uh, it puts him in a pretty awkward position because he now has to be the guy making, making more units. Um, I think it was okay. He basically brought himself back to even, maybe even a little bit ahead. 48 drones to 45. Um, I would say mission accomplished. Forced him to make some units and didn't didn't absorb a few banelings. Well. Yeah, absorb some banelings. Uh, resources lost shows us that TLO is much less invested right now than uh, than Hyun is. But but Hyun, as soon as he realized what was going on on the other side of the map, he made a lot of drones early on. I actually think he's been mining a little bit more throughout the entire game than TLO has despite the way that he opened. It's kind of funny. Yeah, he does have more resources invested into his army, and that's basically because he has more money to spend, so I think you're exactly yeah. right. Uh, we are going to see Hyun moving out on the map right now with some Roach Baneling. I don't think it's going to be really easy for him to attack into Tilo as uh, First Infestor's on the way out, and tilo has got a decent Roach count with, uh, with, with good upgrades finishing up. He's going to be 1-1 here in a second. Looking okay, Ben, for Dario. Already picked up one win today, but still taking out Hyun in his EVZ is going to be oh so hard. Why is uh, TLO making a second Roach Warren, Ben? I do not have a good answer for that. Perhaps afraid that it got sniped eventually Did because it's part of the wall-off? Maybe. Yeah, I... I, I think that's just the case. I, I think he's just I mean, afraid. He, he's <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe he just wanted to spend 150 more minerals on something, and he, and he couldn't quite make up his no, mind. No, I think he feels it as long as he survives, because maybe he feels like uh, it could. It, he's you know, in great shape. It, that makes more sense than any other theories yeah. we have. I mean, it, it could be just great foresight. Hyun's not going to be attacking. So it turns out this ro this extra Roach Warren is not going to be a, a factor, but uh, just in case. Oh yeah. Later on, it's always nice to have it at least in the back, because it's so much less vulnerable than when it's part of your wall. Uh, how many games did we not see, Ben, where you have an important building in your wall? For instance, your cybernetic score, which happens to me every single day, and then I can't warp in Stalkers anymore, and I lose. Actually, one of my favorite moves in later games, EVZ, is to burrow some Infestors in and use Infested Terrans to kill the Roach Horn and then attack yeah. at the same time so they can't reinforce. So exactly. TLO would not lose to that in this case. Not at all. Army Supply shows us that uh, TLO has a small advantage upgrade-wise. Uh, he has a small advantage as well. He's around uh, 50, 60 seconds ahead. So far, playing a pretty clean ZBZ. He is Just a little bit behind in workers. Actually, he is 1-1 one, one as well. So Yun has uh, gone up to 70 drones. That's one thing. We, we do see TLO adding in workers now. This is a very super, super even ZBZ, Kevin, and it's reached the point that it's just sort of stalling out. We see him both going Roach, Hydralis, Confessor, kind of like we talked about early. And um, we probably won't see much action until these two players max. We're close it, to max. It, it has been said before, and I, I do not think this is wrong, that the attacking player in ZBZ is, is the player that's most likely to, to lose because you give up uh, the strength of having a, a big preset position. You, you can't basically, m it's much harder to make a big concave and attack than it is to make a big concave and defend. So if you're a Zerg player, Ben, in either of these uh, situations, how many Hydralisks do you want to be part of your army by the time you go for that first real big engagement? I'm sure that's a question that a lot of Zerg players at home struggle with from time to time. How should I compensate my army? How many Roaches? How many Infestors? How many Hydras? It's hard to find that magic number. I think the best answer is you want to have enough Roaches that they are always what is getting shot, and enough Hydras that 
they're the ones doing all the real damage. Uh, I, I think TLO's got a nice balance right now. He's made about 28 roaches. He's going to max out on Hydralisk, and uh, th that'll leave him, yeah, you know, 25, 25 of each. Um, and, and from that point forward, I would like to see him favor Hydras over roaches a little bit more. Well, man, as you predicted, the game is stalling out just pretty much. Um, TLO leaves map control up to Hyun, but he does have vision of what's going on with his Overseer, just parking it above the army. Uh, there are a few, quite a few Hydras right now as well, so the Hydras will be able to take care of that Overseer. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to get a little bit more um, yeah, weird for TLO. Uh, suddenly you feel a lot less comfortable than the moment where you suddenly lose vision in ZBZ. Yeah. Like, ah, uh, this is supposed and to be the Actually, he's in a terrible position right now as his army is on the, the, the wrong side of the map as Hyun's going to mar march forward. TLO uh, is terribly isolated, loses a couple of infestors, um, a couple of hydralists, rather. And uh, whoa, it was a big fungal that was just cast by TLO, and he is going to... The Infestors of Hyun oh. are going to be very exposed this way, though, Ben. This is going to be such a crazy oh, fight. Hyun's basically separated from the uh, from his reinforcements. TLO has basically trapped this army. He's fully committed. Uh, whoever wins this fight is probably going to win the game. Supplies are both staying very, very high, but Hyun appears to have just a little bit more. TLO, of course, has a drastically shorter reinforced distance, and he does have 20 roaches in production. Oh, it's such a close fight, man, and, and it's almost uh, going to be a complete wash, but Hyun will come out of that ever so slightly ahead, walks away with 180 supply against 160. Uh, TLO actually has a work advantage right now, so what did Hyun do, Ben? Why did he, uh, well, TLO just made an insane amount of drones uh, after that, after we checked the works for the last time. So the longer this goes, you could say eventually it will get better for TLO. Now I have to do that, that in this previous fight, TLO had 2-1 upgrades, while Hyun was still on 2-0. Perhaps the next time when they fight, unless they're going to fight immediately, it's going to be uh, the same upgrades. So that one advantage that TLO had. Hyun only has one Infester in this fight, Ben. It's going to be pure Roach for him. TLO is in a similar situation as he doesn't have that much energy. Oh, great play by Hyun. He's going to split up a couple of Roaches here. Uh, these guys are really dancing around each other, trying to find the best place to fight. TLO wants to be able to get a good fungal. There's a single great fungal on a huge clump of units. A couple more are going to go down, but Yon looks like he might just have way more numbers. He's got 103 wow. army supply against uh, a little bit less from TLO. He just has so many roaches, but a lot of roaches are still in production as well for Yon. TLO, uh, he just needs to hold one more time, then he might be able to stabilize, but I don't think it's going to work. Great play over here by Ion, bringing the Overseer. He keeps vision of those Infestors, picks them off, and TLO is crippling them. Yeah, I don't think that TLO is going to be able to hang in there like this for much longer. He does have some reinforcements popping out. Maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to clean up this attack, but after losing... Yeah, he's going to lose his... No, oh. no. Well, one Roach, one Roach wow. won't take it. Uh, well done, TLO. Saves that expansion. Uh, lost, uh, lost some drones there, and I think that actually helps TLO because he had... Two mini workers. There were two drones, by the way, Ben, on this third base who killed quite a few uh, drones over here on the fourth base of Ion, and now going to kill a few drones over here as well. So TLO with these two drones forcing Ion to get all the way back uh, to perhaps this side of the map. Now he's going to burrow those roaches to be extra annoying. TLO is 14 drones ahead. If he stabilizes, and I think he's still. Po oh, this is probably going to give him the time to stabilize. He's actually uh, in the supply lead right now, Ben. Yeah, you know, I think honestly, one of the reasons that TLO was struggling in those earlier fights is because he had so many more workers than him, and it just meant that his army supply was uh, substantially weaker. But now, with the uh, with the uh, with the worker counts being much much closer, I think we should see the first truly even fight of the oh, game. Leon, what are you doing? Not really dealing with these two infested tenants. It's kind of funny because these two were the infested men that just barely, barely made it out of this fight over here. They saw a few of their friends fall, but they survived. They crawled across the map and then actually started being annoying immediately. Well, I think the TLO just like rallied them away, trying to keep them alive. And turned out great, picking up a few drones as well. Tilo's TLO putting up a good fight. He's also remaxing on pure roach. I'm really curious as to why he's choosing not to sprinkle in any more hydras. Uh, Hyun, 53. as we can see, is also very, very roach heavy. Uh, but is starting to add Hydras as well, yeah. just to get that extra little boost of damage output to his army. He's going to have around 10 Hydras this time, however, Ben. They are even. During all this, we did have a much quicker Hive tech for Eon, and this is something that's very crucial, guys, because you can get those plus 3 upgrades. Plus 3 is halfway done for Eon. Whoa, oh, TLO, this flank is not really going to work out. Uh, beautiful catch over here by Eon, and immediately he's going to reposition Ben, and he does have all those Infestors. Yes, he does. Uh, TLO is a little bit clumped up right now, but actually it's Hyun who's fighting from... Uh, a very awkward position for dealing with Fungal, and a couple great Fungals go oh down God. by TLO. Incredible Fungals there, as the entire army of Hyun just being blanketed. But if we look at the supplies, it doesn't even seem to matter 
as uh, TLO is out of energy with those investors. He has to run, and he's down 30, almost 40 supply. Hydra was helping out a lot, Ben. All the damage, TLO with just a few roaches remaining. Those roaches are picking up drones once more. TLO's investors did get fungled. And these investors will fall unless he's able to burrow them. But nope, not paying attention anymore. Those investors will fall. Uh, Tilo is trying to do the same thing on the other side, but these roaches were so low in HP that he's not able to achieve all that much. 162 supply for Tilo, 180 for Hyun. Very, very even game. These guys are so evenly matched. Hyun uh, replacing some drones because he feels like he lost. Yeah. A lot, and he did lose a lot. Actually, magically brings himself up to 68. To yeah, 70. it's kind of crazy because now in Heart of this Farm, Ben, this is something that I already noticed after playing so much Heart of this Farm. It's so much easier to always just keep track of your workers. Okay, 16 works per base. Now, if you're on one base, that's not a big deal. If you're on a 40 minute macro game where you go up to five, six bases, which I uh, believe it or not, have every now and then. I know that you're skeptical about that statement, Ben, but it happens. Uh, but in situations like this, it's so hard when you're worried about position all the time, when you're trying to keep vision over your opponent's army, when you want to make sure you won't get caught off guard with anything. It's really hard to keep track of the amount of drones you have at every base and the amount of workers that you eventually want to have because you can't really go through all the bases, but Hyun doing a fantastic job in that regard. Another big uh, fight starting to shape up here. Pretty good fungal by Hyun, catching a lot of fluffed uh, up great roaches. Fungal. This is a much better position for Hyun to fight from, but TLO seems to have more investors. That could possibly turn this fight around. 17 Hydra's been for Hyun. 17. Uh, and it uh, looks like that is going to be... plus three is ready as well. The big game changer, the Hydra count, making such a huge difference. TLO's forced to cast fungals as he's retreating and that is never how you want to do it. There are 14 more roaches in production for TLO but they're not going to be out for a while. Oh, so many units are so extremely low on night speed for Eon but TLO just doesn't have any fungals oh, anymore. And the, and the damage uh, output of Hyun's armor. He's got plus three fungal. attack. He's got plus two armor. He's ahead in, in, in every upgrade. He's got more hydras. I think this is actually wow. the uh, final moments. GG does get called. Wow, and such an even TLO. game. What a TLO, great game that was. TLO really put up an excellent fight, and it seemed even from time to time where he was slightly ahead. I guess the real turnaround was that big fight at the fourth base of Beyond, where TLO did drop some really, really great fungals over the entire line of the army of Beyond, but I guess the Hydras, that fight, really making the difference. Hydras make a huge difference. When, when Hydras are... are trading with roaches when the roaches are attacking in the hydras and the hydras are attacking the roaches the hydras just die too fast but when the hydras aren't getting attacked directly they do so much damage and they just obliterate armies and uh, we kind of saw that there near the end of, of that last game so Hyun does go up 1-0 that game brought to you by Epson projectors the world's number one projector brand with a full line of bright projectors with brilliant image quality. Check out epson.com slash projectors for all the details. We're going to take a short break. Lots more StarCraft still to come for the NASL. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back.